Well, the Buffalo woman accused of running over a state trooper and two other officers during a protest a month ago will not be released from custody. There was a chance Deanna Davis could have been let out this week, but prosecutors were able to block that from happening. And Channel 2's Jeff Preval has some new information for us today from federal court. Well, the U.S. Attorney's Office has filed new documentation requesting that a federal court judge review a lower court's ruling that Diana Davis be released under electronic monitoring. And because that higher court judge will review the case, her release has been put off for now. Last week, federal court judge Jeremiah McCarthy ruled that prosecutors did not make a strong enough argument to prove that Diana Davis is a danger. She's accused of plowing through a protest on Bailey Ave in Buffalo running over a state trooper and injuring two other officers, though those officers survived. Davis is also accused of illegal possession of a firearm. It was up to prosecutors to oppose her release by yesterday at 5 p.m. The U.S. Attorney's Office has done that, and today I spoke to Davis's mother about this new development. Disappointing sure. that we don't have her home. Of course it is. It's disappointing because her kids anticipate her. It's disappointing. It's hurtful, but guess what? We're still prayerful, and we haven't given up, and we'll never give up. And now District Court Judge Lawrence Villardo will hear the case, and there's a hearing next week. Davis's family wants Davis to be released. They believe that she still needs to have treatment for gunshot wounds that she suffered during the protest. Coming up at 5, prosecutors, they are revealing new information about this investigation. We'll go over that coming up at 5. I'm Jeff Perfall, Channel 2 News.